Hello and thank you for joining us in Off the Press on PLUS TV Africa. Since your apologies for coming are behind schedule. Let's take a quick look at some of the headlines today and uh, hopefully you go grab a copy and uh, read in depth or you can go online and set some of these stories. We start with a punch newspaper. Uh, we have the big one, VIPs, hospitals, disregard for NCDC rules, worries government. Uh, we also have a couple of writers, that's three actually. Uh, federal government threatens to close private hospitals, treating the rich others. Patients refusal to disclose travel history and dangers or lives, NMA. COVID-19 may spread to all states, warns NCDC cases reach 442. A lot of persons were thinking that it's not going to happen. We're going to slide through this. We're African. Our weather is very high, uh, hot rather. But the reality is the cases are rising. Uh, there are pictures there for you on the front page of people being tested. And then just underneath those, you see AKT circulates photos of convicted rapists. Osho, single mother, dies during abortion by quack. Lagos Ibado Rail Project, 90% complete, says federal government. And then we have 142 arraigned in Ogu for robbery, murder, unrest. Abductors release Oyo Monarch's wife, daughter, after 2.5 million naira payment. Uh, we also have uh, other ones. Uh, let's see. At the very top of the paper, let's go there now. Yeah, there you have it. Infrastructure deficit, forest pressure may worsen inflation. That's the CBN governor speaking. Find details on page 7 of the paper. And then on page 24, you'll see the story on the free electricity, mere propaganda, says TCN. I mean, a lot of Nigerians kept saying, oh, we're entitled to it. That's what is being done in other climb. Uh, one would wonder with our reality how it's possible uh, to give free electricity. I got a bill last week for um, electricity. I barely consumed um, it for 24 hours at a stretch. But that's our reality. Um, we just have to find ways to stay strong, stay positive, and survive. That's the most important thing uh, right now. Survive through this pandemic and not let it get us down completely. Okay, um, let's see uh, what other thing uh, catches interest there. And um, still on the electricity issues we have genko's discos denying knowledge of federal government's 200 billion naira payment and oship and job panel uh, plans stimulus for imminent recession there are some analysts that are of the opinion that we are already in a recession and it's inevitable so i guess uh, what we should be looking doing is exactly what the vice president um, is on right now. Let's hope that they will come up with things that will make us at least um, sigh of relief. That's he one. Okay, we'll move on to the nation newspaper, the big one, expectedly. Uh, virus pandemic spread to all states likely. That's NDC, NCDC warns. Interstate travels worsening transmission, says PTF. Sokoto, Ebony, Abia, others were ready to battle it. Is anyone ever ready for this kind of virus? Um, a lot of persons will say a resounding no. It's unpredictable. The nature is relatively unknown. It's still spreading in spite of efforts. Well, optimism is the way to go. That's the human spirit, I guess. Um, still on the Nation newspaper, Dr. Three Others Die in Lagos, Kanu. Um, we also have uh, Wiwa's son dies in UK, 15 discharged. Pleads to arraign suspected killers of Funke Olakuni. Buratai's camp under Boko Haram fire. Nigeria gets debt relief. G20 China give green lights. And um, what you're seeing is also 
uh, a recap of the global figure of the pains that this a pandemic is causing. Those are not just figures, those are human beings. Some of them have lost their lives and uh, some are battling to survive. Over two million people uh, globally and um, it doesn't seem like the recovery rates match the spread of infection. We know that we have some successes at least. We have uh, 546,273 as at the time of the publication because I'm very sure that figure would have increased a little by now. All right, there are some there are some riders there. Bill Gates to spend extra $150 million. Dangote flood panel gives 1.5 billion naira more of such headlines as it regards the virus on the front page of the nation newspaper. The Guardian is next. Outrage over killings during lockdown is the next one here. The big screamer on The Guardian. Uh, yes, I was going to say we should take that off. All right. The Guardian is uh, the paper now. Outrage over killings during lockdown. There you have it. And uh, Omar Gege Kurema, the others demand prosecution of culprits. WHO unveils plan to save lives, lessen impact of pandemic. This is coming um, after the U.S. Um, moved away from funding uh, for the funding of the WHO over uh, disagreement as to the handling of the pandemic and the leverage they seem to be given uh, to China and the uh, conversations continue on that issue. Uh, we're hoping that um, this new plan will indeed save more lives, especially in Africa uh, where we um, notoriously have poor, weak health services. Okay. Still on the front page of The Guardian, we have confusion as NCDC can present conflicting COVID-19 results. Um, there are speculations this um, confusion might continue in the days ahead since states have now taken to reporting uh, their cases um, as against what we, uh, we got used to for a bit. That's the NCDC giving us the comprehensive figures uh, state by state breakdown. Let's hope that can be figured out, can cleared up quickly so we don't have um, issues uh, again um, distracting from the real uh, fight against the pandemic. Still on the front page of The Guardian, we have AU6 debt forgiveness for Nigeria over COVID 19. Lassa fever kills 19 as Bauchi discharges, discharges three COVID-19 patients. That's one thing that's been worrying for a lot of persons. Uh, yes, we have a pandemic, but we still have other infectious diseases apparently still flourishing, like Lassa fever. Um, there doesn't seem to be a lessening of the debt. There seems to be an increase. What is the NCDC doing, really? Um, we, we get updates um, as much as they can give to us, but how are we trying to work to eradicate that? Because it will be catastrophic if we now have Lassa fever as something else to worry about uh, during this pandemic. So uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and work to try and curb the spread. Uh, that's it for The Guardian. Let me see, did I miss something? Uh, police arrest um, killers of uh, Fasorotti's uh, daughter as uh, Debanjo insists on restructuring. Uh, that's uh, something for you on the front page of the Garden newspaper. Okay, to wrap things up this morning, uh, let's see the business day for the business people. And... Um, Nigeria escapes Moody's downgrade amid rising economic turmoil. Verdict unlikely to inspire confidence, that's analysts speaking. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. COVID-19, interstate travel, aiding community transmission, that's uh, from the federal government, says stigmatization of patients affecting war against virus. Well, I, I mean, why are people with... A flu-like virus, yes, it is contagious, being stigmatized. They didn't plan to catch it. 
please let's be wise and be kind at this time. A lot of persons, I mean, they cannot add that to the trouble of what they are facing. So please, it is not something to stigmatize anyone about. It's no fault of theirs that they have contracted it. That's the more reason why we should try and prevent its spread. Stay safe, use your face mask where you have them, and of course, social distancing. That's the advice that we have been given. We'll wrap things up uh, quickly this morning there. Thank you for watching. All these headlines, please go take a look at them. Uh, the ones that catch your attention, don't just go with the headlines. Sometimes it's a bit, you know, you just read the story so you have a comprehensive overlook of what they are about. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Stay with us.